guys, what's up? My name is Jessica and I just wanted to get on here and do a quick version of teaching how to use the countdown element on Final Cut Pro. So I did a longer version where I go into a little bit more detail. Um, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to um, get the longer version of this video, but I'm just going to do the quick version real quick. Okay? So as you can see, here's the video that I was working on using the countdown element. Um, minute to win a games with our kids and so minute, t minute time period, so 60 seconds. So. All you do is go up here to the title, go down to elements, um, drag the countdown onto your screen. I went ahead and put it in here um, so that we're good to go. So all you do is um, change your parameters over here to whatever you need, start time, end time, if you need decimal points, how many digits you need. Um, so I only need two. So this is the one we're going to be editing here. I just lined them up so that you could um, see that they are in sync and that they're working. Um, in normal seconds together as I'm showing you editing. Okay, so to make the time stop and for the seconds to still count normal seconds, um, it took me a little bit to figure this out. So um, I'm going to share with you today so that you can do it if you needed to use this, whether you're new to Final Cut Pro, you're wanting to learn more features, or you need to learn this countdown feature um, specifically. So in order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to drag it in here, do all your parameters first before you do any of any of the future steps, okay? And then what you're going to do to get the time to stop where you want it to stop and to still count down normally. So you're going to right click, you're going to do new compound clip, then just hit OK as long as you don't want to change the clip name. Now it's a compound clip. Let's say I want to stop the timer at 29 seconds, so I'm just going to put it there and then I'm, all, I'm going to do a freeze frame before I cut it because I because I want it to hold on the 29 seconds for like one to two seconds before it disappears off the screen. So let me just show you. So as you can see, it's counting down. Um, they're counting down in sync one second at a time. Okay. So just we'll just do 29 seconds. So click on the clip, go to edit add freeze frame, it's going to add a freeze frame for you right there at 29 seconds. Take this, delete that off, and then as you see, it's going to count down in sync with one another, and then once it gets to 29 seconds, it is going to freeze for about one to three seconds, whatever time period it is. And so you can see that top number, it is frozen while the other one still keeps counting, and then it disappears off the screen. So that's all it takes. You just right click, new compound clip, hit OK figure out where you want the timer to stop, if you want it to stop at a certain time, and um, if you want it to have a freeze frame and hold for a few seconds before it disappears off the screen, then that's how you do that. Add the freeze frame first, um, and, then, and then delete the part of the timer that you don't need, and you're good to go. That's all there is to it. It's super simple and easy. Um, sometimes it just it took me a little bit to figure all those steps out. So I hope this helps. Like and subscribe. Um, leave in the comments below if you have any other questions on any more editing features, and I would love to help you out with those. So um, I will see you guys next time.